What's up, Tubers? This is Super Dale. And today I got a little quick video. Today I'm going to teach you how to supercharge your on 4K Plus streaming device. If you haven't heard, uh, Walmart just released the new um, device, which is 2 gigs of RAM and now 16 gigs of internal storage. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things you need to do to make your device run better a little bit quicker when transitioning between different applications or menus, okay? But the first thing you should do when you first get it, go over to your settings, all right? Go into all settings, and you see where it says privacy? Go to privacy, and then just go all the way down to manage updates, all right? And so here, you will see that it has auto update apps, you can leave this on or you can turn it off. You know, I mean, it, right now it's on, but if you turn it off, it'll be just like this. All right? So this is optional, whatever you want to do. Um, but on my devices, I always leave auto updates off because I like to manually update um, certain apps on this device or my devices. All right? But let's go in here where it says see available updates. So right here, guys, as you see, 11 updates so when we click into 11 updates you see all the android core um, system and services that need to be updated all right so the first thing you should do whenever you get your device let's update these right now so i'm gonna click update all and you will see everything if you look you'll see these little lines going through and it's going to be very fairly quick you know um as you do it um i will pause this um or maybe i shouldn't let me just let it rock okay i'm gonna just let it rock that way you see it there's no cutting or anything like that i really like to be transparent on here but as you see it's going to update the gboard it's going to update um the accessibility the android system web view the tv setup Google Play games, all that. And also, it's going to update Netflix, all right? So, everything will be updated. So, this is some of the things that people may not even discuss with you when, you know, you're um, supercharging your device, all right? So, now that everything is updated, you see it like that, uh, we're going to hit the back button and then hit the back button again and again. So, again... Um, go into your privacy and you can get to this. But this is very, very important. The auto update, I, again, I leave mine turned off, but you can turn yours on, all right? It's all good. It's just a personal preference thing, all right? So, and then what we're going to do, right? Let's go down. Go out. For apps. So, let's go up in here. One thing you want to do is go to see all apps. So I did add a few apps, but for the apps that you may not want on your device, guys, just uninstall it. Like Disney, I don't want it. I'm going to uninstall it. It's simple as that. I thought I told it. Okay, there we go. Hulu, I don't need it, so I'm going to uninstall it. And so you should be doing this. This, this will clean up everything, all right? Uh, Paramount. I don't use Paramount, so I'm going to uninstall it. All right. I'm going to leave Prime and Netflix, but Tubi, I don't need it. I just uninstall it. And so certain things like YouTube TV, I don't need it, so I will uninstall it. All right, so as you see it right there, we're good to go, guys. We are getting to the end, all right? Next thing you want to do, you want to go down to system, right? Let's go into system. Let's go all the way down to, let's see, where we're at, about. So go to system and about. And let's go over, and you want to go down to where it says Android TV OS. All right, this is very, very important because this is going to allow us to get into developer's options to make some changes, all right? So you want to click this about seven times, so click it seven times. And at the end, it will say you are now a developer. When you get that, you know you're good. 
If it doesn't say it, just keep clicking your remote like seven, eight times until you get that I am, you are a developer. All right. So now you want to hit the go back button. And now when you go down to the bottom, guys, all right, you should have right here developers options. Okay. Once you go up in developers option, what I suggest that you do is go down, keep going, 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 going until you get to Windows Animation Scale. So these three right here, Transition and Animator. These are going to make your device run a little bit faster. Um, you can play with whatever, you know, uh, you know, whatever number you want to. You're not going to hurt your device. All right, so as you see, all of them are set to 1X. Now, to make it a little faster, again, it's going to run a lot faster. I mean, that's just what it is. All right, so for Windows Animation Scale, usually I turn mine off, but if you don't, you can put it on 0.5. All right. As you see, I made the change. All of them can go on 0.5 if you want. Okay. Just to make it run just a little bit snappier. And you'll see it too. I mean, you just see how quicker it is. But for me, I usually turn the Windows animation scale. I turn it off. And I leave the transition. And I leave the animator at 5. All right. Again, you can play around with it. Anything past one, don't do it. It's going to slow down the device. It's going to be sluggish, things like that. You don't want that. And so now, once you make your changes, you can hit your home button, and you can see how fast everything just moves, um, whether you're going left to right, up and down. Everything is just going to move that much smoother. And, guys, it's, it's pretty straightforward um everything should work very very good this is an awesome device and remember it only got two gigs of ram and it runs nice now last but not least there if you look at your remote at the top right hand because i don't see a lot of people discussing this on the top right hand at the top of your remote it's a star button if you press it and hold it Remember, you can do shortcuts, all right? You can do some shortcuts, and that way, you know, you can set it up. Now, some people are not going to use this as much, but for your favorite app, you can go up here and select your shortcut. Now, a lot of devices don't have dedicated browsers. As you see, I went along and added TV Pro, and so I'm going to make this my shortcut, right? And I'm going to say create shortcut. And it says your shortcut is create it and so now guys whenever i click that top button look where it goes to it will go into the app and here it is i got a dedicated browser i can go on instagram amazon uh watch netflix even though i got a dedicated netflix or wikipedia all right but you could do it just put your favorite app on there whether you got iptv maybe you got a. Uh, you know, some type of application, whatever it is, your favorite one, you can go in and do it, all right? And so, if you want to change it, right, say I want to press it again, that star button in the top right-hand corner, I will get favorite app. If I go up in here, how about I change it to this, all right, internet speed test and create the shortcut. And it tells me in the top right-hand corner, your shortcut has been created. And now when I hit that star button, guys, it will go into my speed test. Now, if you want your internet speed test to be your favorite, you know, your favorite uh, app, then that is on you, man. I can't do anything about it. But, again, this is great to have. And um, I just wanted to give you some detail on it. But if you have any question or what is your favorite app that you're going to put on your device, please leave it in the comments. Thumbs up the video. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, click that bell. That way, if you select all, you'll get notified anytime I go live or if I drop a video. I love to hear from you. I love to read your comments. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one, guys. 
This is Superdale, and I am signing out. Peace.